Okay, so I just wanted to do a follow-up video on shift technique in the Nissan at Sebring. And for this video, what I did is I ran a lap comparison myself using two different techniques, lift on, lifting throttle on upshift versus clutch on upshift. And this is a pretty quick comparison. I just ran three laps and hopefully um, I look, I'm looking at the two techniques fairly here. But um, I found a few sectors here where I think I am seeing a bit of a difference. And most of the time difference, uh, or maybe half of the time difference in some of these sectors is actually the uh, difference in the cornering time. So what I'm mostly focused on here is the speed out of the corner and then where the speed may be lost through the shifting zones. So I've got a few sectors here that, that I've been looking at that I think are a pretty good illustration of that. One is here after after tower turn, where both laps are running at pretty uh, pretty close to the same speed once they're back to full throttle. In fact, the purple lap, which is clutch on upshift, is slightly faster mile per hour wise, about a mile per hour faster at full throttle here, although it is slowly losing speed. And so that, to me, um, isn't the best comparison. So I've got another sector that may be a little bit better. But one thing I want to just show here is that once we get to the shifting zone, there is about the, the purple lap, which is clutch on upshift, 0.6 mile per hour uh, faster at that point. And once we've gone through the shifting zones, it's now uh, 1.4 mile per hour slower. Uh, so you can see kind of visual dips here uh, through the shifting. Uh, you can see where the, the speed of the car does appear to take a little bit more of a hit on the purple lap than it does in the blue lap. Uh, blue lap being throttle. You can see the throttle lift right here on upshift. So we've got about a um, 3.1 mile per hour difference in speed here, a 3 mile per hour difference in speed here, and 3.2 mile per hour difference in speed on on that particular zone. Uh, the other that I wanted to pull up was um, the turn just before the back straight here. So we're at full throttle in both cars here. The, um, the blue lap is quicker out of the corner and so again probably not the most fair comparison. Um, the blue lap is already about 1.3 mile per hour ahead before we get into the shifting zone. So from that point forward, we are at time, time difference of 0.866 and then toward the end of the different zone, 0.996. So there's about a tenth one-tenth difference here and you could say it could, it could be just a, bit, a little bit better on the corner exit. The um, <clears throat> the amount of speed lost here in upshift again does appear to be fairly significant. 3.4 mile per hour, 3.5 mile per hour, and 3.2, 3.2 mile per hour. And I do, <clears throat> excuse me, I do think that is hurting the purple lap with the using the clutch on upshift technique and hard to say for certain um, but uh, just looking at these quick comparisons that may be the case I'd be interested in hearing what your thoughts are on that if anybody else wants to do some comparisons to take a look at the two but um, personally I think that it uh, it may be better to, to use the throttle lift on upshift just looking at these and um, there was one other comparison that uh, may be worth looking at. One issue with this comparison is that I actually, on the purple lap, <clears throat> on this shift up, I actually did lift the throttle just a little bit, probably out of habit, where I shouldn't have. But um, <clears throat> the cars are about the same speed prior to the shifting zone. We've got about a point... Uh, 2.2 mile per hour difference so they're real close here on speed at full throttle 
and you can see about a negative 0.381 before we get through the shifting zone and that goes all the way to 0.48 so again another tenth a tenth difference in the two uh, times and that's really just down a down a straight full throttle and shifting up three times and with each shifting zone you can see once again a similar difference in speed 3.4 3.4 mile per hour difference there but again maybe throw that one out because of the, uh, the slight throttle lift that I shouldn't have done there um, on this zone 3.3 mile per hour this is into fifth gear at this point and so it looks like the shifting technique is hurting it hurting that another I guess quick comment on that is that obviously most of my time was spent is spent practicing the the throttle technique and maybe I'm just quicker with the technique and that may explain some of this where whichever technique you've practiced and gotten adjusted with you're just going to be quicker with it because of practice but uh, I tried to be quick the timing on my shifts I, I tried to get as quick as possible here between the two and I think you can see the shifting starting and finishing at about the same time so here we are right before shift gas is full no clutch yet one more step we start to go into lifting um, lifting brake and you can see clutch is starting to be pressed now we're off gas and we're about full clutch here and now um, we're back to full throttle while the clutch is still in so my technique shifting actually was quicker on the throttle lift maybe two frames quicker how many feet is that point one five feet right whatever 0.15 feet right amounts to let's look at the next one or actually let's, let's get into fifth gear here so full gas uh, gas is starting to lift here clutch is pressed in and we're off the yeah similar um, the, the shift was just quicker with uh, throttle lift than it was with clutch one two to get off clutch to, to get off brake I'm gonna say four frames four four frames in the analyzer to do the full shift with the throttle lift one two three four four frames and then if we look at the clutch we're looking at one two three four five maybe one extra frame there before we're back off clutch so the shift uh, the the, the pr just practice with the shift technique probably has some a little bit to do with that so anyway best comparison I can do on those two hope that's helpful let me know your feedback on that